Welcome. I am Bully. And I'm Mandy Morose. And together we are Table Goth. And tonight we are going to be talking about the discipline Fortitude. Before we begin, what did you say? If you have the fortitude, you should check out. Uh, go to startplaying.game or games. Google it. Uh, and then look for Table Goth. You'll find us on there, hopefully. And if you want to play Vampire, uh, run by me and play with Mandy. There's your chance to do it. Get in there. It's a good time. Also, uh, if you want more discipline options or general character creation options, uh, go to Storyteller's Vault. Uh, check out the Vampire Player's Guide. Guess who wrote that? We did. Uh, just go to these places. Look for Table Goth. Table Goth. You'll see our stuff. Check it out. It's good. Especially the guide. Especially everything. It's all good. Uh, go there while we finish this. Fortitude. Uh, fortitude is essentially supernatural toughness. Uh, it makes the vampire able to withstand extreme bodily harm, as well as fortify the mind against intrusion. It's a physical ability, and it poses a medium threat to the masquerade. Uh, and can be uh, sought through the melancholic resonance. Fortitude is an in-clan discipline for the Gangrel, the Hakata, the Salubri, and the Venture. On to some of the powers you can have with Fortitude. Uh, starting with Resilience, which is pretty basic, but also pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. For each dot of Fortitude, you add a rating to your health tracker. So the more fortitude you have, the more health you have. Simple as that. And on the more mental side of things, you can add unswayable mind. This adds fortitude rating to dice pulls to resist social swaying or supernatural mind altering powers. Kind of like dominate? Kind of like dominate. Mm -hmm. Assuming you're watching these in order, <laughs> you should be. Hey. There's also Valerian, which is an amalgam that requires aspects one, because this is a salubri power find this in the companion. Uh, Valerian uh, allows you to heal, mend superficial health or even aggravated health uh, with high enough successes. Uh, that is health in your willpower tracker. So just as you could take physical damage, you could take mental damage through your willpower or you can spend willpower. Uh, with Valerian, you can get some of that willpower back. Uh, but it can only be used on a target once per night and the user, the vampire uses it, actually takes damage if it's used on someone or more than one person a night. Uh, with toughness, you can subtract fortitude, your fortitude rating to all superficial damage sustained before having, and this cannot be reduced below one. Enduring Beast is another amalgam that requires animalism, one. Uh, it gives additional health to your famulus, your familiar, for free. Um, and you can also do so to other animals you feed your blood to. With Defy Bang, you can convert aggravated damage to superficial, equal to the number of fortitude rankings you have. Uh, you may not heal the damage for the rest of the scene and can be used once per scene. There is Fortify the Inner Facade. Um, this makes the mind and the aura of the vampire uh, unreadable and appear essentially blank. There's aspects particularly that can read auras and minds like that. And with this power, uh, it makes that more difficult for another vampire to do that. Or if it's a contested role, you get to use half of your fortitude rating to contest those roles. With a uh, drought of endurance, this allows you to give others half of your fortitude dots, round and down, and the powers that go with. Uh, this lasts the rest of the night or until those individuals reach hunger five. And once we get to the big boys, level five, we have Flesh of Marble. Flesh of Marble allows the user to uh, ignore the first source of damage they take each turn, uh, including fire, but not sunlight. Um, if you're hit at the same time, it ignores whichever was the most damaging source. Um, if someone gets a critical on you, though, they can bypass this power. Otherwise, no matter what you're hit with, whatever you're hit with first, shrug it off. No problem. 
and with prowess from pain. No dice penalty is received from physical impairment. This allows you to increase one physical attribute from one dot per level, or by one dot per level of damage. Um, you cannot exceed Blood Surge plus six. It's a very big boy, as you said. That is a very big boy. Very large. As how all Gentleman. vampires uh, measure their powers. You started it. The size of the boy. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember Prowess from Pain, but that one's pretty impressive. It's good. I think Flesh of Marble's always just so mm -hmm. good. Prowess of Pain's great, but you have to like get hit first. Yeah. So like, I feel like it's just nicer not to be hurt than it is like I'm really hurt, and now I'm super strong. Yeah. I think Prowess from Pain, the way I'm thinking of it, could be very like specific to character type. Like if you have a character that's very like headed as far as like their physical abilities that one would be really cool because their intent is to be like definitely in the throw of things it feels very uh anime mm -hmm. exactly that's <laughs> right? what i was like thinking of like someone gonna, who's like I, I knew you a were little thinking, too yeah. into it yeah <laughs> that they you know they have their big comeback and like all right now it's time yeah. for you to use mm -hmm. my full power yeah like that's hit me on purpose yeah so that means it's very cool, very stylish, but risky. But, uh, hey, style's risky. Uh, fortitude overall. How, how are you feeling about fortitude? I've only used fortitude a little bit myself. Um, I definitely like the ability to use it in context of, like, the mind. Um, because I play characters that manipulate the mind frequently having the ability to stop that is really cool um so even like unswayable mind like way up early on is pretty cool um but i also play squishy characters so having something a little bit extra to um combat that is is pretty nice i think it's a good one to have like to just tack on um as like a defensive yeah ability it's not nearly as like flashy unless mm -hmm. in the anime scenario we just yeah. described <laughs> otherwise uh it's a real just kind of boring compared to a lot of it them it slips under the radar i think uh but just uh, so useful mm -hmm. just very very useful so if just someone who's like I, i'm making a physical combat character mm -hmm. like you gotta get your fortitude um especially because i like that it does mental and physical mm -hmm. because like you said, it's it's dominates one of the scarier things. And yeah. I feel like a lot of the typical like tropes you see, especially in like TTRPGs, people dominate like the bruisers, the dumb bruisers, mm -hmm. you dominate them and turn them mm -hmm. on their friends. Yeah. So it's nice that they're the ones who are actually harder to dominate. Yeah. I think it's cool. You can you can make a more complicated bruiser that way. You can give some depth to character, which I think is a neat way to think about abilities is adding character depth in like interesting ways mm -hmm. so i think this one has the ability to do that in an unexpected way like be able to keep your mind strong or you know whatever um it adds some depth to things if you use it in a in a way that does that yeah yeah and it's i think it pair i i especially like this because i think when i think of the mental stuff i think the ventrue I like that the venture have this in their back mm -hmm. pocket because like they're typically targets for a lot of things because they're in charge of stuff so it's mm -hmm. cool that they have like they seem like you know uh, the mind the brains mm -hmm. of the operation but it's cool that push come the shove they can actually take a beating or yeah. they're good at resisting other venture shenanigans yeah. uh this one i especially like in fifth edition because this is like a lot of the physical disciplines used to just be sort of fortitude was health it was just taking dots and really give you powers as much as just increase your stats so it's cool that they expanded mm -hmm. and sort of did some of these things with it yeah. um where, did, where does this rank for you um a little bit below the actual like mind abilities but definitely like mid like a, like a b like a, a b minus i think a B minus. Yeah, okay. not that it's worthy of that. Just like my likelihood to use it is going to be a little bit lower than some of like the mental abilities. Yeah, fortitude. It's like it's good. It's just good. But I've never been excited about getting fortitude. <sighs> yeah, I think that's where it gets you. 
I like be like it'd be nice to like look at your health tracker and see so many boxes mm -hmm. and then things hit you and you're just doing Fine. whatever. Yeah. It is cool in moments, but also I feel like a lot of vampires avoiding I think we take the more offensive like Yeah, like, get get in your ass beat. Yeah. But uh it's cool. Yeah. Uh like I said, I think this is also like the type of character you play can reflect some more interesting ways to use mm -hmm. this. Uh but mechanically speaking, very solid. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Um, it's more to say about Fortitude. There's not that much to say about Fortitude. No. It's pretty strong. Pretty strong. You want to be pretty strong? Get Fortitude. Otherwise, uh, that's that. That's sort of round. Oh, no, it's not rounding out our physical things. So the other one's coming up. It's rounding out tonight. It is. They don't need to know that, but yeah. Uh, there you go. That's fortitude. Uh, I wish this video was more exciting, but we're not here to sell you on these. This is an accurate representation of fortitude. Uh, like us, quality. You need it around, but uh, not that exciting. <laughs> oh, luckily, I have the mental fortitude to be able to attack myself and withstand it. <sighs> Goodbye. Um, if you're still watching these, uh, clearly, <sighs> I don't know. What is going on this. <laughs> what? Uh, that's a new one. <laughs> a new reaction unlocked. Ooh. I do. That's what I earlier I went. Oh, but you were talking. <laughs> Early I, I went. Oh, <laughs> and it's. <laughs> I really wanted to do a whole thing where I was like, guess who's back? Back again. You know? Go ahead. Sing, no. sing, your, no. sing your musical intro. <laughs> no. No, it's already passed. Do you know the lines after that? Mandy's back. Tell a friend. Okay. I'm impressed, actually. I didn't think you'd get that far. That's the only part of the song I know. That's huge. That's huge for you. <laughs>